Hi everyone, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, we will be going into some of the known and believed mechanisms for how anabolic steroids, more specifically exogenous testosterone, affects our body composition, meaning our muscle and fat mass. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. This information is provided to us by a non-data review that looks over the literature to summarize various effects from a supra-physiological testosterone intake. To access this scientific review, as well as my notes and any amendments, they are linked to this content for you. Now, to the literature. Testosterone is primarily produced by the latex cells of the testes, while a little comes from other areas of the body, like the adrenal cortex, and circulates throughout our body. Reductions in testosterone below normal levels leads to reductions in cell protein synthesis, reductions in strength, and increases in fatness. However, if testosterone is replaced back to normal levels, all those effects are reversed. Exogenous testosterone intake leading to greater than physiologically normal levels of accentuates these effects by increasing muscle mass, strength, and reduces body fatness. But how? It seems that with testosterone intake, muscle fibers increase in size, with the greatest effect in type 1 fibers, as they can hypertrophy up to 50%. Type 2 fibers can also increase, but typically increase more dramatically at even higher testosterone levels, as opposed to type 1, which will hypertrophy at lower, but still super physiological levels of testosterone. Interestingly, testosterone enhances overall body protein synthesis in cells, but it doesn't affect degradation, meaning degradation rates remain stable, but synthesis gets a boost, ultimately leading to cell growth. It also has a peculiar effect in that it allows amino acids to be recycled or reused after being degraded from proteins. Initial muscle size increases are handled effectively by established myonuclei. These are nuclei that line the muscle cells and are responsible for allowing protein synthesis to occur by having their DNA read. The more you have in the cell, the greater the rate of protein synthesis potential. Eventually, testosterone leads to such an accelerated increase in protein synthesis that the muscle cells need more nuclei and recruit satellite cells to integrate into the muscle cells, donating their nuclei. Testosterone encourages satellite cell mitotic activity, meaning they replicate more readily, increasing their number, thereby allowing more to be integrated into the muscle cells. This effect is more heavily experienced in type 1 muscle fibers, which may be the contributing reason for their rapid and dramatic expansion, even greater than type 2. Testosterone may also play a role in convincing mesenchymal stem cells, or stem cells that can turn into a few different cells, to move more readily toward a myogenic line, meaning take on a muscle-like identity. In doing so, it removes those cells from turning into other cells, like adipocytes or fat cells. However, testosterone may also actively discourage the differentiation or maturation of adipocyte precursor cells into mature adipocytes. Again, those are fat cells. It has also been suggested that testosterone reduces lipid or fat molecule uptake and encourages lipolysis or fat molecule breakdown from the cells. So in these ways, it might help sway body composition towards a muscle-centric, fat-dissuaded type. Finally, testosterone can bind receptors on the cells and activates intracellular signals that are hormone-responsive and translocate to the nucleus, expressing particular genes associated with the activation of select receptors. This inevitably leads to a greater expression and therefore more protein synthetic potential. Interestingly, different tissues of the body have different sensitivities to these androgens and can even vary based on the muscle group. Some areas of the body will grow more readily than others due to exogenous testosterone as a result. So in conclusion, added testosterone has a number of outlined effects. 
but there's almost absolutely more that is affected by exogenous testosterone use. It increases protein synthesis in cells, which leads to an explosion in muscle cell size, which is further accentuated by creating more satellite cells, as well as the integration of these satellite cells into the muscle to donate their nuclei, thereby increasing the myonuclei capable of being able to be used for muscle synthesis. It also seems to discourage fatness and diminishes the maturation of fat cells, among other effects. So with that said, I hope this proved informative and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers.